Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So let's just jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Sagittarius, please, regarding love. Hmm, I just saw the wedding card twice. What messages does Sagittarius need to know? What else? Okay, two cards here. First one is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, stay optimistic. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, so let's jump in to the tarot. Oops. This is tarot of the divine that I'm using today. If I could shuffle, it'd be great. It's just for Sagittarius. What messages do you have spread for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Okay, one more, and then we're going to cut the deck. Okay. Oops. okay, in the recent past, we have Four of Wands reverse in your energy. We have the Page of Cups and the Two of Wands. Currently, we have the world reverse and the seven of wands reverse and their energy, the chariot reverse and the four of swords. So no movement, no action here, possibly no communication. In the near future, ooh, the five of cups reverse. So overcoming the past, regaining something you've lost. I feel like you are the one that has feelings here. I'm um, not to say that your person doesn't have feelings, but I feel like they're definitely coming up in your reading. So there's something that you feel very strongly about. There's a lack of closure here, a cycle that hasn't been completed with the world reverse. So let's clarify. Tell me about the four of wands reverse. This is a lack of harmony, lack of stability. Tell me about the four of wands reverse, please. Page of Wands, communication, starting something new, taking a risk. Motivated, cre someone creative. Tell me about the Four of Wands reverse. The Nine of Cups. So someone's, mo okay, so basically, Someone desires something here, emotional fulfillment, a wish being granted. And they really, it's almost like maybe communication is what someone wants. And I feel like it's regarding another person because in this deck in particular, there's two people here kind of like embracing each other. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands reverse? Four of Wands reverse, please. Nine of Wands reverse. Interesting. And then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that's not giving up. Despite the difficulty, despite the fact that maybe things have been um, tiring, maybe they don't have the strength they used to. This could be someone that's um, giving up being so resistant to something or perhaps the walls are coming down that they had so, you know, they had put these walls up and now they're ready for them to be lowered, like their guard to, to be lowered. And I'm only saying that because of the other cards that I'm getting here. I feel like maybe, you know, there's so many different ways you can read this. This could be a situation where you or your person has not had um, a very happy past 
or an easy past. There has been some sort of imbalance um, in the past regarding the stability of a home uh, or a connection. And there's now this desire for emotional fulfillment, for a wish to be granted. And I feel it's connected to a partnership, to love. So let's see what happened here. Another card about kind of lowering your guard with Seven of Wands reverse. Um, this could be somebody that no longer wants to fight for something or no longer wants to, you know, fight back. Um, so let's see. Why is the world reverse? Let's start there. Spirit, why is the world reverse? The lovers. So yes, there's unresolved issues between a partnership, a lack of closure, something that didn't really end or hasn't begun. Gemini energy. Tell me more about the world reverse. Why is the world reverse? Oh, I got two. Six of coin reverse. Five of wands reverse. I feel like th there was an imbalance here. Someone either gave more than the other person or thought they were carrying more or giving more than the other person was. The five of wands reverse. I feel like someone wants to overcome difficulty because I have two fives reverse. So it's almost like they either want the fighting to be over, um, the difficulty to be over, the, the feeling of loss to be over. Yeah, and then I have the five of coin at the bottom of the deck. So someone is like, I feel, wanting to not be in this state anymore. Tell me about the seven of wands reverse. Why is the seven of wands reverse? Three of cups reverse. Why is the seven of wands reverse? The moon, Pisces energy, something hidden, secret, something that was possibly an illusion or, you know, was confusing. Tell me more about the moon. Tell me more spirit about the moon. Nine of swords, fear. Anxiety, stress. This could be fear of the unknown. Anxiety regarding a secret, regarding an illusion. The Three of Cups reverse could be a card about um, interferences. In my in, in this instance, I feel like the the feelings that I'm getting are. Almost like the, the interference has something to do with challenges or obstacles that someone has been fighting against. Um, this could also be that there has been a delayed reunion, a reunion that hasn't taken place. Um, but I feel more it might be an interference and it could be, you know, fear, secrets, doubts. Let's see. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse spirit. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Three of Coin. Okay, so this could. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I have the High Priestess. Something. There's a secret here. Something that hasn't been communicated or expressed or or and I feel like it might be related to your person because they have the four of swords on their end there I feel like something was not you know there's an interference here whether it's a person whether it's hidden emotions or hidden words like no communication whatever it is I feel like it's caused a almost like an interruption in a cycle or an interruption in a 
in a in a connection because I have the world reverse. So something hasn't officially ended or officially begun because of this. All right, so let's jump into your energies and this other person's energies. For, tell me more for Sagittarius. Tell me more about the energies between Sagittarius and this other person. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. It's going to be linked down below if you're curious. Tell me about the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. Now, Sagittarius, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. Changes, transition. So you've been going through some changes, possibly. You have the two of wands here. Maybe you've been waiting for something. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius. Oh, right away, closed off. Guarded, defensive, resistant. Exactly. So that's this person. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. This is someone that's been closed off, possibly not communicating, like I said. So this is their energy. So let's break it down. Let's break down, get some clarity on how you're feeling about each other. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me some clarity for Sagittarius regarding this connection. What do we need to know regarding Sagittarius and this other person? I need to know, Spirit. Let's start with you. Why is the Page of Cups here? Is the page of cups here ace of pentacles reverse why is the, the page of cups here eight of wands so you have something to say regarding how you feel about a loss either an opportunity that never took off or a commitment that was taken away or a broken commitment. You have something to say. Can I get one more please about the Eight of Wands? Six of Pentacles reverse and Nine of Pentacles reverse. So again, with the imbalance, it's almost like you're not sure about, about uh, someone else's feelings or intentions. Um, maybe you feel a certain way and they might not. Um, I feel like this has kept you bound in some way. Tell me if that's resonating for you. You might also want to talk about whatever attachments there might be. Um, either to a situation or another person. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Page of Swords, you definitely want to talk. We have three pages upright, so communication will end the Eight of Wands, so communication is very important here. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Knight of Cups, are you kidding me? And then the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. Either an apology or someone to express how they feel or vice versa. Maybe you feel like you can't choose a path until that happens. Tell me more about the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Death, Scorpio energy. This could be regarding an ending, a change, a transition. I feel like you're seeking answers here, um, possibly because this person, I don't, you know, they're kind of closed off here. 
Oops, why is the chariot reversed? This is someone that is stuck, not moving, not moving forward. Tell me about the chariot reverse, Cancer energy. Why is the chariot? Five of pentacles. So there's a five of pentacles again. Out in the cold, financial struggles, missing something, struggling here. Tell me more about the chariot reverse. Two of cups reverse. This could be a separation, a breakup. So someone here, um, I feel like they're, they're stuck. They're stuck in this energy. Can I get one more for the chariot? Eight of swords, yeah. This is someone that is stuck, mentally stuck in this energy of a disconnected partnership and feeling out in the cold, struggling, not doing well. Tell me about the four of swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's holding back. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is what they need to do, Ace of Swords, but they're holding back. They're holding back a truth. And I have the Five of Cups there at the bottom of the deck regarding a, the past, regarding past regrets, guilt, a loss. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Okay. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be you here. They're holding back from wanting to have, you know, either have you or have a communication with you. Yeah, Knight of Swords, reverse. They're not really... Um, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like there, something's keeping this person from opening up. I feel like, I don't even wanna say that the desire is there. I think they, they're aware. They're aware of the situation that they're in. They might even know exactly what they want to say with the Ace of Swords. But I have the Chariot Reverse and the Four of Swords. So I don't feel like they're doing that right now. So let's look at the near future here. Why is the Five of Cups Reverse? Why is the Five of Cups Reverse? Five of Swords Reverse. The fives are all, I think, oh, we're missing the five of wands, I think. Tell me about the five. No, actually, the five of wands is here. We have all, all four fives on the board. One, two, three, four. Yep. So this is conflict. This is difficulty challenges. Are they all, no, they're not. I was gonna say, are they all um, upright? Tell me about the, or reverse. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse, please. Okay, one more please for the Five of Cups. The Devil reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, someone has to break free here. Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is all about movement, desire, motivation, going after what you truly want here. The Knight of Wands is all about action. Not a lot of thinking behind it, more like going with your instincts. I have the Five of Swords reverse. This could be a card about overcoming difficulty. Um, if someone tried to take advantage of the situation, they weren't able to. Um, if they tried to win, they weren't able to. Um, there could even be someone wanting to reconcile because I have the Five of Cups reverse as well. 
and I also have the Devil Reverse. So the Devil Reverse is a card about breaking free, taking the, the shackles off, um, making better choices, not feeling restricted or bound. I feel like that's what's happening next. I feel like someone's going to take some sort of action here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Take this one out. Can I get one more, please, for the Knight of Wands? That's the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Swords Reverse. Seven of Wands, Two of Swords Reverse, Strength Reverse. So this is someone that's going back and forth, I feel. King of Wands Reverse, Five of Cups. They're undecided. Maybe there's a lot of obstacles here with Seven of Wands. Or they're, they're, you know, the guard just comes right back up. Can I get one more for the Knight of Wands? This could also be someone that is intercepted or blocked from communicating for whatever reason. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Emperor, Aries energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Or this is someone that's taking charge, taking control of the situation. We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck again, Gemini energy, a choice um, or taking charge of a connection, a partnership, a union. If this is someone making a choice or making it very logically or without emotion. And also the, the emperor is not afraid of anything. So with the Emperor and the Knight of Wands, this is someone that's willing to take a risk here, be, you know, with force. But I think that your person has to overcome a block first. Otherwise, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It helps the channel grow. It helps other people see these messages. And it's a great way to support the channel without having to spend any money. So I appreciate everyone that has already done that. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.